Guys, listen, last week I made the 2021 Fever Dreams recap, and it's the greatest video of all time. This we know. It got insane results, some pretty big names tweeted about it, and my channel has pretty much exploded ever since I posted it. But because of that, I haven't made a vlog in two weeks. And since then, a lot has happened. <laughs> So John matched with this chick on Bumble, Dave, and we have to come up with the best opening Snapchat he can give to her. Do you have any ideas? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, I think we can, we can work with that. Don't send that um, to anybody, but I think that's a good starting off point. Did you say, hey, period? No, should I add a period? Add a period, we'll see if that looks better. Okay, that's so much worse. What uh, if I move the location? Like, if it over the eye? No, I think your eyes are where your emotion come out. Over the mouth? Like a- like Oh, that's like... cool. So it's like a secret. Yeah. Why do you look so panicked in the photo? Trying right? to appeal to the female gaze. It looks like you're like stuck in a closet when you're trying to call 911 and there's a home intruder. <laughs> you, look, you look so terrified. Set it down on the floor. Good. Do you think that's too threatening of an opening? Let's see. 40 best pickup lines ever. Are you French? Because I fall for you. I, I fell for you. I, I fell for you. I don't get it. Can you explain it? French people are Eiffel towering a lot, right? Maybe, no, we'll get away from that. Hey, my name's Microsoft. Can I crash at your place tonight? Here's why I say that's not a great idea. I think it kind of implies micro penis. Micro penis is exactly what I was gonna say. You know what, dude? We don't need the internet. Our ancestors did this without the internet for forever. I think you should send that initial hey period Snapchat. I think it'll work well. John was banned on Snapchat within the hour. They found out pretty quick. Bumble banned him too, which is interesting. I don't even know how they found out, but yeah, he's he's off both apps for good. Anyways, after once again being personally responsible for ruining one of my friend's chances at love, I came home for a holly jolly Christmas. In fact, the whole family was coming home, including somebody that I haven't seen for a very long time. My older brother, Will. And as he neared closer and closer to coming up our driveway, only two hours late this time, I decided that I would play a bit of a prank on him. You know how brothers are. What happened next <laughs> was um, one of the most pathetic moments of my life. Hey guys, this is niche internet micro celebrity Douglas Fowler here, and basically what's going on is my older brother Will is coming home for Christmas. Yippee. And one of the best parts about Will coming home now is that we get to play this game that we've been playing for the longest time. Basically what happens is I stand motionless in the back of a dark room and call him down. I beckon him towards me. And when he sees me, he's horrified, terrified, because what rational creature who isn't actively being possessed by Satan would do the things that I do? And I actually get that a lot. I, uh, I hear that a lot. Yeah, maybe I should change. No, I won't. But basically how the game works is the loser is the first person to um, die of a heart attack. And over Thanksgiving break, Will almost got me. I flatlined for a good minute and a half. Oh shit, he's here. He's here, he's here. He's here. Yo, Will, come here. He's not coming. I'm just standing here in the dark like a weirdo. It's moments like these where I kind of self-reflect like, is this really what I'm doing with my life? This is what I've become. I'm 20 years old. I wonder if anyone else is in the room with me. That's, uh, that'd be crazy. Marco! No, it's nothing. If someone said polo, I would, I would shit myself. I want to be 100% with you right now. I think he, he went to bed. Did he open the door? He walked outside. Where did he go? I'm actually kind of pissed. No, dude, I was literally sitting in the dark for nothing. What is this? Oh great, the worst lighting in the world. Awesome, this gets better and better. It looks like Jesus is above me. What am I, what is this? What is that? You can't see it. It's auto-focusing on a person that's not me. It's auto-focusing over here. That's terrifying. I'm not gonna do anything about it. What's it? What's it? Hey Doug Fowler, it's me, your brother Will. I'm upstairs, dude. I know, I know. I got a surprise for you downstairs, man. Oh, okay, I'll get to it when I can, okay? N now would be, like, would be cool. Yeah. Now, 20 minutes, you know, I, I can hear your voice from the kitchen, so if you just... You know. Oh, that's crazy, I'm not in the kitchen, so I guess you don't even know anything about what your house looks like, so... Well, that's, yeah, I guess that's the only logical explanation, right? <laughs> Alright, man, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Alright, man, I'll be down here. Don't, don't turn the lights on, Will! Don't turn the lights on when you come down! Hey, why are the lights off, man? Don't turn the lights on, I said! Did you not hear me? I just said don't turn the lights on, it's a dark surprise! I don't like how this is going. I only prefer light surprises. Okay, I'm here. Oh, your camera's on. What are you filming, man? Can the light on now? Okay, what is this? What's going on here? Oh, what's up, Well, I was just doing, I was, yeah, turn the lights on. I was just doing that game that I, 
that we've been playing for forever where whenever one of us comes home, the other one like stands silently in a dark corner. What game is that? Is this the first time you've ever played that game? I've never played that game with you. No, we do that all the time. I've never played that game with you. You know, I started that joke like 25 minutes ago. That's I turned all the way super, I sat here alone in the dark. That's wildly depressing. No, I like thought maybe you'd be like, oh, you know, Doug, you're standing silently in the dark corner. That's do you know me? Yeah, you're verbalizing it, it definitely sounds... Would I ever find someone like that funny? Ever? No. Why is this how I spend my time? I could have been a doctor. Anyways, through all of this failed tomfoolery, I seem to have forgotten something uh, pretty important. Oh! No, spit it out! Uh, yeah, I had to pick Mike up like 20 minutes ago. Want to go? From work. But this worked out because we could surprise Mike after his long, arduous day of work with the return of his big brother. A wonderful, joyous reunion that I could exploit for content to tug at the heartstrings of you, the viewer. Mike, guess who's here? No, I don't care. No, it's... Uh, no, I know who it is. I don't care. Never mind, he didn't give a shit. Guys, I hope you enjoy the episode. Subscribe for a new one every single week. I hope you enjoy the new year. I'm going to keep making content because I haven't given up. <laughs> Yet, and I'll see you next week with more fever dreams. Have a good one.